Welcome back. Remember, we're going through the introduction to COBIT-5. We've gone through what COBIT-5 has and the elements of the principles and the enablers. We've gone through implementation. Now we're going to look at the assessment program. This is the new to COBIT-5. We'll go through in this and you'll learn all about the pieces of the assessment program, how it all fits together, what the steps are, what the, the core functionality is of capability assessment. You'll learn about the types of assessments that are available. There's three classes of assessment. You'll learn also about the key benefits of using the COBIT capability assessment model and how that can benefit your organization specifically. We'll also learn about roles and classes of assessment and who's involved in the certification process. And finally, we'll look at the assessment model dimensions. So what is the new COBIT assessment program? It includes three distinct books, the COBIT process assessment model, the PAM, using COBIT-5, but there is a version using COBIT 4.1. Remember I mentioned earlier, you can do capability assessments regardless of which version of COBIT you happen to be using. So the process assessment model is the first main document. And then there's a COBIT assessor guide. As one of the co-developers of the assessor guide, one of the things I like about it is it clearly describes the seven steps that you'll take to perform a proper, well-defined COVID assessment capability-wise. And again, using COVID-5 or another version using COVID-4.1. And finally, the third is a self-assessment guide. You can use this individually, and so it's just a cut down or stripped down version of the COBIT assessor guide. And like the other two documents, there's two versions, COBIT 5 and COBIT 4.1. The COBIT 5 PAM, the process assessment model, so the, the structure of capability assessment, is based on ISO 15504. This is the compliant how do I do process assessments from an ISO perspective? And that's the big change here. It's not CMMI based anymore. It's using an ISO model for process capability assessments. Remember the three pieces, you'll see a document like this, the assessor guide itself, and that is, allows qualified assessments. So certified assessors will follow this guide and they'll all use the same steps. The process assessment model, that's the, the, the core of what we're going to assess and how we're going to do it using COBIT as the underlying assessment for processes. So that's what enables us to base that process capability and the reference model that we're using, of course, is COBIT. And finally, the self-assessment guide. And that's what anyone can use to do. It's less rigorous. So we don't demand you have evidence, for example. And you don't have to be a accredited assessor to do assessments. This is a good way for you in your business to do a capability assessment and maybe prepare for a more rigid assessment to follow. The capability assessment program is an evidence-based program. We must produce evidence that's objective and validated for every process attribute that we rate. And that rating scale is based off of ISO 15504. And so it's got a structure to it. It's not just a high, low, or medium, or some sort of uh, subjective measure. We'll see that it's got its own measure. And we need to maintain traceability between what we're rating and the evidence we're using that's we're saying is this level of rating or that level of rating. And so another assessor coming later should be able to look at our evidence and say, yes, I agree that you met the needs of that particular rating that was assigned. 
process assessment, type of assessments then? Well, more robust, reliable, and repeatable. And that's the key core words for ISACA when we're looking at this, based on ISO 15504 and based on, of course, COBIT and version 5 or 4. And so it supports formal, credited assessor assessments and the informal assessments that anyone can do. In the future though, ISACA would like to see this progress a bit and become potentially a way for you to obtain an independent certified assessment aligned to that ISO 15504 standard of your particular enterprise. So what are the benefits of using the COBIT process assessment program? Well, an improved focus on process. It's not a higher level maturity. It's down at the details of the process. Are we actually performing the things, the practices and activities of that process? So it's simplified through standardization. It's a standard approach to it. Everybody would follow the same approach as long as they're using the COBIT process assessment program. That's going to give us improved reliability and repeatability because of that consistency and that ISO reliability. And finally, it's going to give us compliance with generally accepted high-level international standard, ISO, remember, ISO 15504. And so increased usability of capability assessment results will come out of that because you're going to be able to say, listen, this is COBIT, it's a worldwide framework for governance, and ISO 15504 is a worldwide capability assessment methodology We've put the two together, and that's going to give us increased usability. There's three classes you could have of assessments. I wouldn't worry too much about these in the initial phases as we're starting out, but the most formal is class one, and then the less formal would be class three, all requiring certified assessors. So there's a specific assessor requirements, the specific evidential requirements for each class, and naturally there's a sort of a high level purpose assigned to each class. Most would start in that sort of gap analysis, where am I now, class three level, and perhaps as time goes by, would focus more and try and get more formalized into a class two and a class one. There's a number of roles that are specific to this assessment program. A lead assessor, so the, the person who would follow and, and make sure that the sponsor is committed to doing this work and that it's conducted in accordance to the methodology put forward and that everybody knows what they're doing, etc. That's the lead assessor, an experienced assessor. Then the assessor of itself, the person doing the day-to-day -day work, that's doing the actual assessments, following that COVID process, and then a coordinator in the business unit to make sure you're getting the right available resources at the right time and being that interface between the assessment team. Those, these are accredited roles, the assessor and the lead assessor. You have to go through an APMG certification process. The COVID assessment model in a big picture, how have we merged them together? So the processes of COVID and the ISO aspects of capability, well, there's two dimensions. The capability dimension, which is the process attributes at a capability level. So you're seeing that in the top part of the slide, level one, two, three, four, and five, that is our capability dimension. Those are just saying, am I, have I reached that performed level? I am actually doing what is necessary for the performance of this process. Is it properly managed at level two? Or have I got it more established at level three, etc.? That's capability dimension. The lower dimension, circled with the dotted lines, is the process dimension. And for our sakes, we're using COBIT, either COBIT version 5, COBIT version 4.1. And so we're assessing the levels, 
of COBIT processes. And that's part and parcel of the COBIT assessment model. How those two fit together, the capability, and of course the process dimension, the thing that we're trying to assess. We've gone through a quick introduction of COVID assessments. We'll follow through with a little bit more in the next module. Thanks.